Hey everybody, let's check out this quick clip. I hope and trust you are doing well. Hope you enjoy your day. Stay safe. Um, this might explain something. Okay. So here's a lady speaking. Some people are like, oh, I don't believe it. It's not true what they're giving the migrants. I don't believe it. Okay, well, we'll see. They're getting six months free rent. So the Venezuelan migrants that are coming in here, they are getting six months free rent. Fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps and on the, on the credit card, five thousand dollars. How are they getting that? Say what? Sanctuary City. Council members, I keep telling people when they say, oh, you know, that we don't have this and don't have that. Let me say it again. It's by design. The powers that be, the politicians, the ones that we want to fight over and counsel you and not be your friend anymore. They're doing what they want to do. The veterans need this. The homeless need this. The children need this. The unemployed need this. Just said yesterday, and I showed the video from Umar. He has a, what is that, 60, M 60 Mag TV or, no, no, I got it from the, the Pan-African channel, Dr. Umar Johnson has. Talking about those illegal immigrants. Huh. As I said to you yesterday, yep. I already got information. I'm like, they're doing what? Yes, indeed, my friend. Giving them papers to fill out so they can vote. So stop and think. Let's do the math here. And I'm not trying to get any trouble, so but let's just do the math. So if somebody gives you fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps i mean darn these people must have a bottomless stomach for uh, a bottomless pit for a stomach how much where can you even house all this food this is nonsensical to me but yeah some people can doubt it okay K keep doubting but let's just do the math if someone gives you fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps and a credit card and the credit card got five thousand dollars cash on it Then that same party turns around and gives you forms to vote. What the heck do you think they expect? I mean, let, let's just be real. Someone giving you, and oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Six months free rent. So you get, I mean, they're getting, what are the American vote taxpayer? What are the American voters? What, what are we in for our money? Where's the bang for the buck? $15,000 in food stamps, but some of us don't want to believe it. Okay, well, go ahead and keep your head in the sand. $15,000 in free rent, credit card, $5,000 cash, and then six months, not one month, six months free rent. Most Americans don't even have a thousand dollars. Most Americans can't, can't even come up with four hundred dollars for an emergency. Fifteen thousand dollars in food stamps, five thousand dollars credit, uh, a, a car with cash, and then on top of that, six months free rent. See, this is how you know. As I said before, said again, the system is is rigged. Oh, it is. It, it's so rigged. You know what's happening also? What they say, y'all ready for this? You probably already heard about it. You know what's happening also? Yeah. Uh, got something new going on. You know what the new thing is? They are now, the immigrants are taking the money that they have, and I can't blame them. They're taking the money that they're having, and they are sitting up here buying these homes. They are finding houses that they can pay cash for them and know what they're doing. pulling their resources and they're pulling their money together and fixing them up while some americans how many how, millions are facing foreclosures 
millions are behind on their rent reportedly. I bet $15,000 cash can help them out. This is how you know it's rigged. This is how you know it is rigged. The powers that be, they can make a way for who they want to make a way for. That's the part some of us don't want to acknowledge. We want to go ahead and pretend because we like so-and-so, and and that's fine. But again, things like this here, this is how you know that this whole darn thing is rigged. Again, I did the video yesterday. They're being given, Venezuelans being given papers to vote, excuse me, and they took it to the Catholic priest. They all are working today, the man that's got the little crew going. While I was on the phone, I heard him come in. Are they buying votes? Since when is it legal for you to vote and you're not an American citizen? You wonder why they want amnesty. But what is the American, I don't care, black, white, green, yellow, pink, what is the American getting for their vote besides taxes out of your chick? Inflation. Congratulations. Love that inflation. They're saying, oh, they might expect them to cut the rate next week. Oh, hey, let's hope so. We can all hope to make some money on Wall Street. It'd be great. But let me tell you something. You think cutting the rates just automatically resort to a lot of job replacement, a lot of job hirings? Did you not see the unemployment numbers when the market went, it was bad? Non-farm payrolls? It didn't make the, the, the number they projected. It was a whole lot less jobs created. And you do understand when they say job creation, that's just any job. You can be hiring somebody to sweep the floor. They got machines to do that, but any job. We're not even getting to the point of jobs that are sustainable for you to sustain yourself. A, a, a well-paying, decent job to keep up with inflation. Who would need to work 15, but you couldn't forgive the student loan debt? I'm just saying. How many got those loans? And they are lo- and still longing for to find a uh, to find a job so much for the return on the investment of higher education. Got those loans and can't barely get along. America's having to juggle. Need to be juggling rent and food. That that's crazy. It's a, uh, this is this is ridiculous. Two and three jobs and still struggling. When I was younger, man, I had helped somebody out and helped them out. Ne- never do it again. Help them out in the apartment and credit and all that fun stuff. Will never ever do it again. I've learned my lesson. And so my credit had dipped, and oh my goodness, the next thing I know, um, uh, higher interest rates. So you know what I did? I already had my regular job, uh huh. And so I then went and got me a uh, 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 a second job, a part time job. Okay. Then next thing you know, I had got a hold to still later on down the line a decent job. And I said, huh, the decent job is paying money. So not having children, you know, um, you know, um, not having kids, I was going to get me a second job. And what I did, I worked my full time job and I had a second job and the second job. I used that as a savings because I was working and I was check to check. Bought me a little place, a little starter home. I was check to check. I went and got a second job. 
And then I was able to do little extra things, do a little shopping that girls like, was able to go out, you know, my friends and have to do happy hours and just do little things. Within a year at that time, I had saved up cash. I had me a backup fund, $8,000. Mm-hmm. Had me a little change. Why? Because I've always wanted to be independent. Don't want to ask anybody for anything. $8,000. People now are doing the second job. There is no backup cash. Inflation is eating through it. Can't save anything. All that's getting backed up are those bills. And your, that's it. It's getting backed up. Things are totally different now. I'm asking you. Let's do the math here. Common sense. If they're giving a Venezuelan illegal immigrants $15,000 in food stamp, this is crazy. And I'm hearing about Americans, people applying, oh, you don't make the threshold. Here's $20, here's $100. What the hell is that? $15,000 in food stamps, a credit card, $5,000 cash on it, six months free rent. And then here's some papers for you to vote. What does that sound like to you? One of the things that make you say, hmm, so hey, you all tell me I'm not, you know, never said I was the smartest person. $15,000, food stamps, $5,000 credit cards, six months free rent. You gonna remember that. Where else can they get this? Only in America. Only with this administration, it is what it is. Where, where, where can Americans go and get this deal? And you do understand this is your taxpayer dollars, right? And then they then they terrorizing you with the gangs. Let me guess, somebody might be kind of green. Well, the gangs not getting you. Have to be a fool if you think not. I need to be is it, but Venezuelan. What it looks like a Venezuelan legal, legal immigrant. Hello. So are they buying votes? This is the most backwards things I've ever heard of in my life. This is, I, I just can't, I, so the replacement is here, not just for the BC, unless you are rich, the replacement is here. And you wonder why some of them are putting their money together in certain locations and they are buying houses. Some of them are buying a duplex, a fourplex, and fixing it up. They'll be sitting <laughs> off American taxpayers. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you all. Let me know what you think. Feel free to comment, like, dislike, subscribe, and share. But I'm out. Just like Americans are going to be out in the streets. It's the replacement is here. Unless you are rich, the replacement is here. Unbelievable.